This is Paul Theakston, the black sheep of the Theakston brewing dynasty. This is our story, our truth. We are black sheep. in 1827 in Masson, North Yorkshire. Paul's great-great-grandfather is Robert Theakston. He was the original founder of TNR Theakston Limited. The family brewery Paul would begin running at the tender age of just 23 back in 1968. 20 years later, against Paul's wishes, Theakston's was bought out by a national brewer. With an independent spirit and Masson in his heart, Paul parted ways. To Black Sheep Brewery. Can you hear me okay at the back? Yeah. If anything, obviously it isn't working for me, if anything does start and gets a bit noisy, just give me a shout out. I'll tell you what it's like. Yes, I'll let them give you a tour down today. Tell you a little bit about our brewery, the ingredients we use to make our wonderful beer. The beers we make and the uh, products and take around the brewery, show you, tell you how we make the beer. I've seen you've been around the brewery before, some of you. Yeah. Anyone that hasn't, does, doesn't understand anything, then don't have to be stop you asking. Also, I wouldn't take any photographs to have to do it as long as people do that. It's the truth. So, a little bit of history first. Paul Thiggs uh, started Fletcher Brewery in 1992. Actually, in this building. The food is occupied by Lifeless Brewery. Lifeless was a 100 year old brewery. Paul's grandfather died in 1919, but it closed it in 1920. The reason it closed it was that both brewers, Lifeless, Thiegston, and the Cricket Team, once a year they got together, had a big cricket game, and it so happened that Lifeless Brewery had a better team. They beat Thiegston every year. Obviously, Paul's grandfather, being a Thiegston, wasn't happy about that, so he bought Lifeless Brewery and closed it. That was the end of the Cricket Team. Lifeless, and so he thinks the brewery has been grown since 1827. Just over the road is, is Silver Street, is the Black Ball. Paul's uh, great great grandfather started there. And 48 years later, his son Robert and Thomas, they built what is now Thiegston's Brewery, just a the lane. In 1983, Matthew Brown Road from Blackburn in Lancashire, they bought took over Thiegston's Brewery. That was after a big family dispute, a big fallout. Now I think uh, things have finally wanted to sell the business and have one to keep it. The fell out, stopped speaking, the arguments went on for months and months and actually finished a big grand call. And we said, it was resolved to sell to Matthew Brown. Paul Thiegs was left overseeing the brewing site, Matthew Brown, for four years. But then in 1987, Matthew Brown saw Thiegs and the brewers taken over again. This time by a national brewer, a large brewer, Scottish Newcastle. They took it over and they still own, obviously, the things that grew in Tallahassee. And Paul was left as a director, didn't really enjoy doing that, so 1988 he left. He wanted to purchase a life of gold, this building. It was then owned by some friends of his called Iancy's. Iancy's is the local cat food business, still operational today, you see all this running around. And he also realised that the access of land around this building was owned by Scottish and Newcastle. So he had a big problem. He couldn't approach them, they wouldn't sell him it because obviously he was going to make a road, he was going to be in competition with them. So he got to Iancy's to go off. 
they actually bought, bought the uh, access of the war victory, sold it to Paul along with the building. And that went through on the uh, 31st of March in 1991. Years of knowledge and experience to brew York. In 1992, the first pint of beer from the Black Sheep Brewery was pulled. Too bad. Where are you going to? 
Sheffield. Sheffield. Oh, yeah. Okay. Rob, with my father Paul and my brother Joe, we are Black Sheep. <laughs>